Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Rachel. I don't just sit there, my wee puppets. Come on, let's get busy. What's on Granny Murray's shelves today? Talk to get all. That's my boy. And we're going to make some exotic fruits. <laughs> this is nice. <gasps> what are you doing, darling? A cherry. Mm. Does Mum do that with you? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Rachel. But someone's missing from home today. <laughs> oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes. It's Rudy with Jack. Hello there! <laughs> Rudy! Hello! Hi Granny Murray! And Jack! Oh, I've been squeezing cuddle! Come on, my dad! Come on! Oh, it sounds unusually quiet in here today. That's the sound of concentration. Nah, concentration and... Painting. You're right as usual. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've been having a busy time doing pictures of exotic fruits. Oh, you mean like all of the exotic fruits I sell in my stall? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're here, Jack, we'll do something new. Why don't you all dress Claude up as an exotic tree? <laughs> oh. Here you go, and I'll take yours off too, Stephen. There we are. And we can plant ourselves over there. <laughs> <laughs> Lead the way. Plant <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm fascinated with all your exotic fruits you sell, Rudy. Oh, we've got loads of stuff, Granny Murray, and we've got star fruit, pomegranates, mangoes. Oh, my mouth's <laughs> watering just thinking about it. <laughs> oh, you've no idea how difficult it is, though, to convince people to try something new and different and exotic, and everybody seems to go for the same old usual thing. Oh, you're right there, Rudy. Do you know, I remember when I worked in Nicholson's department store. Yes, on the high street. Yes, that's right. Well, I came up with the idea of dressing all the beautiful mannequins in evening gowns with life jackets over the top. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Do you know, we sold more life jackets than we did evening gowns. So it just goes to show, dress it up and it will sell. Ah, oh, yes, Granny Murray. But have you ever tried to put a pair of pants on the pomegranate? <laughs> Pretty. You're funny. <laughs> we aim to please. Oh, will you look at Claude? He's looking a bit fruity. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Claude, me old fruit. <laughs> oh, well done, guys. <laughs> oh, I bet you he looks good enough to eat. <laughs> right, I'd best be off to work. Daddy, <gasps> I've got something for you. What's this? A blueble. A blueble. I'll pop that in my bag, and when I get to work, I'll put that on the stall. Mm. Okay, give us a cuddle, mate. Yeah, you be good. Right, okay. see you later, kids. Bye. Come on, Rudy. Bye bye. Now remember, dress it up, and it will sell. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? Oh, I've no time to walk today. Can you tell me a quicker way I can get to work? Thanks. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, in, in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take a, take a trip in a taxi. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the streets now. Rolling, rolling, rolling down the road. Winding, 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 drives the speed up. Squeaking, 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 slows us down. Rolling, rolling, rolling through the street now, squeaking, squeaking to a stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. Whew! Thanks for that. Now what? All right, I've got to put on my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. Right, first things first. Put that on there. <laughs> Hope that's the right way around. Hi, Ruddy. Oh, hello, Tina. Oh, that's an unusual painting. <laughs> oh, it's a blueble. Jack painted it for me. What can I do for you? I'm not really sure. We've got all the usual stuff in. Or oh, how about trying something a little bit different? We've got lots of exotic fruits. Oh, I don't know. 
Oh, which are the exotic ones? We got star fruit, passion fruit, and mangoes. They're really juicy and delicious. Well, oh, how about some watermelon? Um, yeah, I'll have a bag of apples, please. A bag of apples? Oh, Tina. Right, these coxes be all right for you. Oh, thanks, Rudy. Right. There you go, Tina. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Oh, hey, you wouldn't mind um, doing us a favour and dropping this box of exotic fruit off for Granny Murray, would you? Oh, no problem. Oh, brilliant. I promised her it before. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> See you later, Rudy. Bye. <laughs> See you later, Tina. Oh, I reckon Jack will have some fun trying that exotic fruit. <laughs> Wonder what he's up to now. Look at this one, it's the colour of the sun. Yes, it makes me feel all happy and warm. <laughs> and what about this one? The oh, that's the, the colour. That's the colour of the sea. The sea. That's right, let's make some waves, Jack. Oh, look, it's a stormy day out at sea. <laughs> and what about Jack could suit a wee hat like this? Oh, doesn't he look cute? <laughs> Would you like the pink one, Megan? Yeah. Ooh. Megan! Oh, what about oh. me? What about me? <laughs> what about you? What about this one for you, Sean? <laughs> well, we make Sean into a wee ray of sunshine. Look at that wee face. <laughs> <laughs> right, we better gather all this up for you, Dad. Come on. Put That's me. right. You'll be saying, where are they? <laughs> I'm dreaming of you, Daddy. Hi there, Rudy. Oh, hello there, Mickey John. What can I get for you? Oh, I don't know. Uh, what have you got? Oh, we got some lovely exotic fruits in today. How about a custard apple? Oh, no, Rudy. I'm supposed to be on a diet. It's not real custard, Mickey John. It's a fruit. Mm, I don't know. What else have you got? How about a star fruit? Oh, that's amazing. It looks just like a real star. Yeah. Or mango from India. Fragrant and juicy. Or how about... Some lovely ripe watermelon. Oh, now that does look good, yes. <laughs> uh, I'll just have an apple. An apple? Yeah, an apple for teacher. <laughs> Here you go. Are you sure I can't interest you in anything more exotic? Uh, maybe next time. Well, I better be going. Bye, Rudy. <laughs> All right, Mickey John. Bye. Right, time for me to get down to some real hard work. And doobie doobie doo. I make it look easy What I do be do be do And what I do is sell to you and you and you All of the veggies for a stew But it's more than meets the eye What I do for you as I buy and buy While you still sleep those fruit and veg to eat and the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes It's there for you The market stalls are there to view Oh the market, the market What a wonderful place The hub of the people The smiles on each face oh, The market, the market Come look around the hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic and spilling about The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling, cheap or dear The market, the market, I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place Hi, Rudy. Oh, hello, Tina. Back again. More apples. Oh, no thanks. I brought this to you from Granny Murray. Oh, for me? Oh, what is it? It's lots of lovely, colourful material. <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm going to use this for. Oh, me neither. Well, I'd best be off then. Oh, I gave Granny Murray the box of exotic fruit. She was very pleased with it. Oh, thanks, Tina. Bye. See you later. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Hope Jack's enjoying that fruit. I love to skip in River Sea Lingle, River Sea Lingle, that's for me. This one's called Passion Fruit. 
Oh, will you look inside? Oh, that's Isn't like... Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Now, let's cut that up this pineapple. That mango smells lovely. It is lovely, darling. Can I have Delicious. I apple. Wait till we tell your dad you've been cutting up his exotic fruit. <laughs> Are you having fun, Daddy? Oranges and lemons and mangoes and watermelons. We love to eat pomegranates and pawpaw and star fruits. <laughs> Hello, my lovely Louie. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> I was just on my way to the ferry boat, so... You thought you'd stop by and say... Hello! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Oranges and lemons and watermelons and mangoes. Hey, Rudy, I think this mango's a bit overripe. Oh, oh, you're right, Louie. Hey, and this needs eating quick too. Oh, you know, you know, the trouble is trying to convince people to try something new, especially something different and exotic. I know, and they're still sitting here on the stall. Such a shame. Oh, honestly, Louie, I've been working hard all day trying to sell my wonderful, delicious, exotic fruit, and now I find that it's all becoming overripe and nobody wants it. Oh, what went wrong? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock this morning, I took Jack to Granny Murray's for the day. The children dressed Claude as an exotic fruit tree. I told Granny Murray all about the exotic fruit on my stall. Jack gave me a painting of an exotic bluebell. At eight o'clock, Tina stopped by at the stall. I tried to interest her in buying some exotic fruit, but all she wanted was a bag of apples. Tina agreed to take a box of exotic fruit to Granny Murray's, so I sent her favourite, watermelon and some other luscious fruits. At nine o'clock, Mickey John was in the market. He was very interested in the exotic fruit, but in the end, he just wanted an apple. At one o'clock, Tina brought me a bundle of lovely material from Granny Murray. She told me that Granny Murray had been very pleased with her exotic fruit. At two o'clock, my lovely Louie arrived, singing as usual. She noticed that some of the delicious exotic fruit was getting overripe. What can I do? I've been working really hard all day to sell my exotic fruit and no one has wanted to buy it. How can I sell it so that it doesn't go to waste? Now remember, dress it up and it will sell. Dress it up and it will sell? Of course! What we need to do is dress up all of the exotic fruit to really sell it. That must be why Granny Murray sent over all of that fabric. <laughs> Come on, we haven't got time to lose, Louis. It's a race against time. <laughs> I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. This looks great! <laughs> Come and buy some exotic fruit! Hey, you two! Ah, oh, look at all this wonderful fruit! It's absolutely bursting with colour! <laughs> what would you like, Mickey John? Oh, well, uh, I have one of those, and uh, one of these, Ooh, and one of these! Oh, might as well be a bit adventurous. Oh, it smells yummy! <laughs> oh, it tastes delicious too! <laughs> That'll be two pounds thirty, please, Ooh. Mickey John. Thank you. Thanks. Bye! Bye! <laughs> This is going great! <laughs> I think I'll take a couple of mangoes for the ferry boat to share with Chuck. OK. Mangoes! <laughs> mangoes! Bye! <laughs> oh, Jack loves mangoes. <laughs> oh, let's tuck it to some of this delicious, exotic Man fruit. Oh, mango for me. Mango for you, Jack. Mango well. And for you, some pomegranate, my darling. We've got your dad to thank for giving us this fruit, don't we, Jack? Mm. He'll be home to pick you up soon. <laughs> Ready? Come away in. Hi, Granny Murray. So to see you, Jack. 
<laughs> Hello, <laughs> mate. Give us a cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you had a great time with Granny Murray. Yeah, we yeah. certainly did. <laughs> Say thank you to Granny Murray. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. Oh, pleasure, my darling boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you told me. Dress it up and it will sell. It saved the day. Oh, thanks, Rudy. Well, we'd better get you two home. <laughs> Come on, mate. Looking forward to next time. <laughs> Me too. Bye -bye. Hey, come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning. What was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as an exotic fruit tree because the children had been doing some wonderfully colourful exotic paintings and they reminded Rudy of the exotic fruit he had on his stall. Rudy told me he finds it difficult to sell the exotic fruit because no one likes to try anything new. Later on, the children and I sorted out some colourful fabric to give to Rudy. I thought he might like to dress his stall with it. And when Tina brought us some wonderful exotic fruit from Rudy, we had a delicious, fun, juicy time eating it. When Rudy came to collect Jack, he told me that he had remembered what I said. Dress it up and it will sell. And it saved the day. Mmm. My favourite. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, Fruitles. <laughs> me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. <laughs> Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Molly and we've got Hope. But don't just sit there, my wee cherry buns. Come on, what's in Granny Murray's shelves today? Let's have a wee look, girls. We can see the world through different colours. Oh, I love red. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, see, Molly? What about yours, Hope? Do you hold yours up? Oh, how do you see the world, Hope? Oh, it's like the sunshine. It's like the sunshine, darling, so it is. What about yours, Molly? It's blue and you think that I'm under the sea. You think you're under the sea? <laughs> well, we've got Hope and we've got Molly, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Money? Oh, it's Mickey John with Rebecca. Hello there. Hello. 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 Oh, I don't know. You'll have to ask the professor about that one. You? You always say ask the professor when you don't know the answer to things <laughs> I don't know. But now you're here, Rebecca. Let's dress Claude up as a wise old professor. And you, Mickey Brainbox John, can take a seat over with the chairs. Oh, I don't know. You might have to ask the professor about that one. Oh! <laughs> 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 You're a right tease, Mickey John. So you are. <laughs> Do you know, you don't know the answer to half the things, but you get away with it or you make up some nonsense. What? That's not true. Well, not all the time. But just sometimes, well, things are a bit complicated. Not because you're a muddlehead. <gasps> How dare you, madam? I know the answer to lots of things. Just isn't always that easy to explain. Well, if you know the answer, you can make it simple. Oh, do you really think so? Yes. What do you make of that, Professor? <laughs> Ah, see, now we do have a professor to ask. So, Professor, can you tell us about the colour of the sun at dawn? Hello, Professor, anyone there? Oh, well, he is a professor. He's just taking a long time to think about the question. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. A picture of the sun. Oh, that'll keep me happy all day. Thanks, Rebecca. Bye-bye. <laughs> have fun with Granny Murray. Come on. <laughs> 
now remember, if you know the answer, you can make it simple. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. You keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. Oh, I don't have much time. How can I speed across the river to work? <laughs> That's right. Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take it, take it, take it on a speedboat. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry down the river. Splashing, splashing, splashing through the waves. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Chugga, chugga, chugga slows us down. Rocking, rocking, rocking to the dock now. Splashing, splashing to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And hurry, hurry, hurry. Put my tie on. All dressed and ready to go. The sun has got his hat on. Hip, 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 hooray. Oh, and there's Mickey John Kai. <laughs> Hello, Kai. Hello, Bobby. Have you come to look round the school? Yeah, yeah, one of the older children is going to be Kai's buddy and show him around. Oh, yes, I've asked Sean to look after you. He'll be here soon. And then he'll show you all the exciting things we do in the school. <laughs> and can you tell Kai what sort of things? Oh, yes. Well, today I'm teaching my class about night and day. Now, when it's light, that's day. And when it's dark, that's night time. How does it get dark? Oh, that's a very complicated question. How does it get light? Oh, that's another very complicated question. I think I'll have to ask the professor about that one. <laughs> you see, you'll learn all sorts of interesting things when you come to school. Oh, look, there's Sean waiting for you. Oh, okay, well, off you go, Kai. Have a great time, and I'll come and pick you up at lunchtime. Oh. Bye, Mummy. Bye. <laughs> oh, my grown up boy. Will he be all right? He'll be right as rain, happy as a sunbeam. Sean will look after him. See you later, Bobby. <laughs> okay, see ya. Ah. <sighs> I hope you're happy, my little sunbeam. I love to skip in River Sea Thingle, River Sea Thingle, that's for me. Oh, wow! Have you seen one of these before, Cupcakes? Do you know what it is? It's a sundial. How it works is, on a sunny day, the sun casts a shadow on this wee bit here, and the shadow points to the numbers on the dial and tells us the time. Oh, your daddy would love one of these at home, wouldn't you, Rebecca? Yeah. What are you doing now, Daddy? Oh, there goes the bell, and here comes my class. That's it, in you come. Quick march, come on, let's have you. Well, we've got a lot to get through this morning. Good morning, everyone. Good Settle morning. down. <laughs> right, today we're going to learn all about Mr Smiley's son. Ah, I mean the sun and what it does. And we're also going to learn about night and day. But first, we need to learn a bit about the world. This is the world. And this is Riversea Fingal. So, where do we fit on the world? I'll tell you. Oh, where's Riversea Fingal? <laughs> oh, there it is. Good job. Right. There it goes there. Now, I want you all to look at the world and see if you can draw what shape you think it is. Go on then, get out your pens. Now, what shape is the world? Oh, I've seen some good shapes here. Let's have a look. Excellent, you've all got it right. You've drawn the world as a circle, that's right. Ha, so far so good. But now it's time to get down to some really hard work. Oh, I walk with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teaching with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I teach in. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching to count and teaching to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. Away. Oh, 
the secretary smiling as she does her organising. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps her shining. Oh, what joy when I go to school in the morning. All on the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves us stew. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it fly? Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, I want to enjoy when I go to school in the morning. Ah, well done everyone, it's been a good morning's work. Oh, right, off you go and have lunch. I'll be back ready this afternoon to learn more about night and day. I've brought you an apple. Oh, hi, Doctor. Do you know what you're up to? Well, I've been around all the classes handing out fruit, all part of my healthy eating campaign. Oh, I see. Jolly good. There you go. One bit of fruit with your lunch. Oh, thanks very much. Mm. It's not got a maggot in it, if that's what you're thinking. Oh, no, 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 Doctor Juno. I was just thinking. What does it remind you of, floating in space? An apple. No, it's our very own world, the blue planet. It's not blue, it's a red delicious. Anyway, I'm due back at the hospital. Oh, make sure you actually eat your blue planet, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope you are having fun, Rebecca. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. One beautiful day in River Sea Pingle, the sun came out, and all the little bunny rabbits came out of their burrows. <laughs> They were eating the grass and resting in the sun, but all too soon the sun went down and it was night time. And what comes out at night time? Moon. The moon. And an owl came flying by. What did the owl say? Get get up. Twink twink. Fantastic. Right, this afternoon I'm going to tell you all about night and day. Now, when it gets dark at night, we all go to bed and lots of animals come out that don't come out during the day, like uh, mice, badgers, foxes and owls. Twit -woo. <laughs> then, in the morning, when the sun comes up, the birds start singing and we all get out of bed. There, night and day. What is night? Oh, that's a good question. Night's when it's dark. How does it get dark? Oh, that's quite a complicated question. Uh, I think we'll need to ask the professor about that one. How does it get light? I think we'll have to ask the professor about that one too. Right, any more questions? No, good. Can we ask the professor a question, please? Ah, oh, dear. I've been working hard all day preparing my lesson about night and day, but when the children ask questions like, what is night and what is day, I can't think of an easy answer. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's house. We talked about how the sun changes the colour of the sky, and she asked me why it happens. I wasn't sure how to explain, so I told her to ask the professor. At eight o'clock, I got to work. Bobby brought in Kai to look around the school. I told him about the things we learn in class, like about night and day. He asked me some questions, and I wasn't sure how to explain the answer, so I told him to ask the professor. At nine o'clock, my class came in, and we learned about the world. Then at 12 o'clock, my class went off for lunch. Dr. Juno came round with a fruit trolley. There was one apple left for me. I thought it looked like the world, floating in space. At 1 o'clock, my class came back from lunch. I started to tell them the difference between night and day. But they didn't quite get it and asked lots of questions. And I can't explain them easily. What am I going to do? Now remember, if you know the answer, you can make it simple. If you know the answer, you can make it simple. Well, I do know the answer, so I just have to think of a way to make it simple. I got an idea. It's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it. I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? I'm gonna do it, 
it. He's going to tear it. I'm going to beat the clock before the chime. I'm going to sort it. He's going to start it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Right, everyone. Now, this is the world, and this here is River Sea Fingal. That's where we live. Now, can someone come up and spin the world for me? Up you come. That's it. Give it a good twirl. Now, the world is always spinning like this. And sometimes, stop that there, River Sea Fingal is facing towards the sun, and the sunlight shines down on it, and that's daytime. Now, give it another spin. Stop it there. And sometimes, River Sea Fingal is facing away from the sun, which means the sunlight can't hit it. And that's night time, see? So, do we all understand the difference between night and day? Yes! Great. So, we don't have to ask the professor anymore. No, we won't. Ah, oh, I wonder how you're getting on, my little ray of sunshine. to play the light and dark game. Me too. Right, are you ready to dance about? And then when the music stops, hide under the blankets. OK? Go! <laughs> oh, good dancing, girls. <laughs> and stop! Oh, quick! Quick as a flash! <laughs> well done, girls. <laughs> and start! Stop! <laughs> ah! I tricked you! <laughs> Oh, Rebecca, my darling, we'd better watch our time. Your dad will be here to take you home soon. Mickey John. Hi, Granny Murray. Ha ha, come oh. my way through. Rebecca, Daddy's here. Ah, hello, beautiful girl. Hello, Daddy. Oh. Looks like you've had a lovely time. Yeah. Oh, we certainly did. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, my special girl. <laughs> You're good as gold. <laughs> and it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying if you know the answer, you can make it simple. Save the day. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Come on, you two. Ho, ho. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a professor because we wondered why the sun makes the sky different colours through the day. Mickey John couldn't explain, so he told us to ask the professor, <laughs> the silly onion. I took the children to the park and we found a sundial. It's a special clock that tells the time using the sun. When we got home, we made night and day shadows and I told the children a story. Later, we played the light and dark game and hid under blankets. I had to explain the rules, but I made them simple so the children could understand. And that's just what Mickey John did in his class too. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I love you, Mickey.